I think if Holly were alive today, she'd still be a massive style icon and she'd still be very classic and classy. But I think she wouldn't be afraid to try out the new trends as well. So the makeup that I've done is very much, I guess, like a, a nod to the old school um, era that the book was actually written in. A little bit of 1940s, but it's also transitioning into the area that people know from the Audrey Hepburn Breakfast at Tiffany's style. Um, where it's a little bit more 60s, so it's a little bit of a blend of both. Very classic, clean skin, little bit of eyeliner, and I've added some lashes just at the very end to really open up Pixie's eyes. With my hair, I always like to um, create looks, I think, that have a bit of volume. So I'll always use like a, a dust or um, a dry shampoo, which just sort of revives it and gives it a bit of volume when it's sort of looking a bit lacklustre. Accessories are a huge part of the film and the book, I feel like. It's, you kind of think breakfast at Tiffany's and you always automatically think about the pearls straight away. Along with the pearls, you've got the tiara, big hat and sunglasses. The fashion from the 40s and the 60s, I think definitely um, inspires a lot of the fashion of today. I've always been a big fan of retro fashion, putting a, a contemporary spin on it. Thank <laughs> you.